My name is Simon Michael. I'm a records producer and engineer from beautiful Franconia, which is located in Bavaria, Germany. And I'm known for my work with Subway to Sally, which happens to be the band I'm the drummer in, but also for others like Feuerschwanz, Umf, or Schandmaul. I come from a creative and musical family, so I started to play the drums pretty early. I was something around three years old. And then later I joined a musical high school, I learned how to play the piano, learned a lot of music theory and music history. And then I got into music production finally. I joined bands and I made a living as a musician. This is Great Hall Music, which is my studio and it's built for my personal needs. That means when I'm in a creative process, I need everything right at hand. So if I want to play the guitar, I just grab a guitar, plug it in and have a state-of-the-art sound. If I want to record the drums, I switch to the recording room. I got my drum set, I got my mics, my preamps, everything is ready to go and it just sounds good. Steinberg software is the heart of the studio. I use it for everything, recording, arranging, mastering, even monitoring. And I cannot imagine working without Steinberg software. And I cannot appreciate enough all the workflow accelerators. One tool I just discovered a few years ago is Spectral Layers. And this is a software I use for many cases like unmixing instruments from a mix, uh, restoring audio, editing and uh, the possibilities are just ridiculous. When I first tried Spectral Layers I thought man the people at Steinberg they, they're kidding. You know it was like audio magic. I never thought that things are possible like unmixing vocals from a mix or unmixing drums from a mix and so I started to work with Spectral Layers, got familiar with it and still today it's audio magic. Your people at the studio, when I show them spectral layers, some people are like, man, that's not, it's just not real. For example, removing cymbal bleed from tom microphones. So when you record the drums, you always have the problem that you have a lot of cymbal crosstalk and the close micings. And usually we use gates or we use automation to get rid of this. But now with the drum unmix function, it's just one mouse click and the cymbal bleed is gone. Or another example, I was just recording guitar here at the control room and I forgot to mute the monitor, so I had pretty much click track on the recording. <laughs> and I also used the unmix function and with one mouse click, the click was gone. I give you another example. When we have a live mix, and I do a lot of live mixes, I work a lot with the audience mics. But the usual problem is that you have a lot of vocals or a lot of drums in the audience mics. And if you need to help the singer or the band a little bit, and if you have to edit the vocals or to tune the vocals, you always have the problem that you have to be careful with the audience mics. So what I use now is unmix on the audience tracks. And so I got separated the drums and the vocals, and I can edit the vocals even in the audience mics. And that's that's a game changer. For live mixing, this is a game changer. Spectral Layers offers a different workflow because you can actually see the audio. And sometimes I don't even need to listen to the audio to see what's the problem. So I can use the eraser tool, for example, to get rid of sustaining notes or to get rid of anything that is disturbing the signal, actually. And this is a huge thing, really. This is a huge thing. Another use case is um, separating guitar tracks from a mix. You know, if you have, for example, a mono recording of the guitar, you can separate the guitar from the rest of the song and make an artificial stereo. This is something I use pretty often. I prefer Spectral Layers because, actually, there is no alternative. 
There is no other solution that offers the things that spectral layers can do. And another thing is integration. So in Cubase, spectral layers is just one click away and the workflow is just amazing. And finally, spectral layers is also a great tool for creators. If you are doing, I don't know, remixes or cover versions, you can grab any song or audio into spectral layers and split it up, separate it, mute, unmute things, and just get creative with it. So finally, spectral layers is a great thing for creators.